Here's your weekly Sansar Bagya News Bits. A look at this week's headlines. BGH applies for solidarity trial. COVID-19 spike downplayed. ECQ extended in Baguio, Benguet. Baguio crafts new tourism plan. SLU graduate ranks 8th in bar exam. Pandemic team creation pressed. Kalinga Town backs extended ECQ. And in sports, one championship unveils first official rankings. The summer capital wants to join the world in search of a cure for the killer virus. This report from Jonathan Yanis. Baguio General Hospital Medical Center is waiting for a final approval from the Institutional Review Board before formally joining the World Health Organization's Solidarity Clinical Trial Against Novel Coronavirus, the pathogen that causes the COVID-19. Dr. Thea Kahulao, Infectious Disease Specialist at BJHMC, explained, Upon receipt of the approval, all COVID-19 patients at the hospital will be enrolled to undergo trial. Solidarity launched by the WHO and partners is an international clinical trial to help find an effective treatment for COVID-19. More than 100 countries have joined the trial with more than 1,200 patients randomized from the first five countries to evaluate the safety and efficacy of four drugs and drug combinations. Jonathan Lianes, Sunstar Baguio. Health officials quelled fear amid the continued increase of confirmed coronavirus disease cases in Baguio City. Jonathan Yanes returns. Dr. Amelita Pangilinan, Department of Health Cordillera Director, said the public should not be alarmed as the health department is now seeing a better picture of the COVID-19 situation, adding 16 positive cases were recorded over the weekend. On April 25, the DOH started with its risk-based mass testing for persons at risk, particularly frontline health workers. Given priority for the test are the suspected cases, patients with serious or critical illnesses, senior citizens, high-risk pregnant women, health workers with high exposure to COVID-19, and those with severe acute respiratory illnesses and influenza-like symptoms. Jonathan Lianes, Sunstar Baguio. The enhanced community quarantine in Benguet is extended to May 15, Malacanang announced on April 28. This report from Loren Alimondo. Presidential Spokesperson Secretary Harry Roque Jr. during a press briefing on Tuesday provided a comprehensive list of regions and provinces included in the ECQR National Capital Region, Central Luzon except the province of Aurora, Baguio City, Region 4A, Province of Pangasinan, Iloilo, Cebu Province, Cebu City, and Davao City. The spokesperson added, areas not included in the list will be under general community quarantine. Under the GCQ, as precaution, minimum health standards are achieved and continuously observed. Lauren Alamondo, San Star Baguio. Baguio City Tourism Officer Alec Mapalo presented a recovery plan for the mountain city to cope with the post-pandemic scenario. This report from Maria Elena Catahan. Mapalo said programs were crafted with the Baguio Tourism Council, the private partner of the city to back the summer capital's plan to bounce back after a slump in tourism. He said a slogan, Angat Tayo Baguio, was initially crafted for the resurgence of the sector as well as its thousands of stakeholders. Based on City Tourism Office data, there are 518 accommodation establishments with over 4,000 employees, with the food and beverage sector and creatives not yet included in the list. The city has so far lost 1.4 billion pesos in tourism receipts, with peak months set from February onwards. Maria Elena Catahan, San Star Baguio. Anton Luis Avila, a graduate of St. Louis University, placed eighth in the 2019 bar exam, ending over three decades of the school's non entry to the exclusive circle of top notchers. St. Louis University College of Law Dean Attorney Lilibeth Sindayan Libiran said it was in 1988 when SLU last entered top 10 and only got as close to 15th spot in 2017. 
Avila is a consistent Dean's Lister and founder of the College of Law Liturgical Committee, often playing the guitar for causes and for daily Mass offerings. Libiran said, Avila, as a student, has always been very humble and inquisitive, often taking the initiative to do tasks, and despite his academic excellence, finds time to do many extracurricular activities as well. There were 2,103 out of 7,685 examinees who took this year's bar exams, passed with a passing rate of 27.36%. A city official is looking to include pandemic teams to respond to COVID-19 effects in the city. This report from Joven Peralta. Councillor Mylenia Ranon said, During pandemic situations like COVID-19, it becomes even more critical to ensure the inclusion and meaningful participation of the vulnerable and to address differentiated economic and social needs, thus the need for creating a pandemic response team for the city. Yaranon stated, organizations or mechanisms such as pandemic response teams and emergency response teams should now be created. She added, to be included in the plan is the evacuation and quarantine centers, border or entry exit points during lockdowns, strengthened water and food resources, and stockpiling of masks and personal protective equipment. Meanwhile, Congressman Mark Go pointed out the inclusion of pandemic teams in the proposed creation of the Department of Disaster Resiliency. Javen Peralta, Sunstar Baguio the town of Pasil in Kalinga wants an extended enhanced community quarantine. Maria Elena Catahan returns. Mayor Alfredo Malanag Jr. said a resolution asking the national government to include the town in the extension of the ECQ until May 15 has been made to prepare for the return of residents from all over the Philippines. The mayor said there are close to 700 residents set to come home once the ECQ is lifted to reunite with family and loved ones, but facilities for their return have yet to be prepared. The municipality with 14 barangays received the Bayanihan cash grant of over 7 million pesos, and from this, the refurbishing of existing facilities to become holding sites will be done. The official added, if the request is given, the municipality can have time to prepare holding sites for the returning townmates and protect residents from a possible infection from COVID-19. Maria Elena Catahan, Sunstar Baguio. And in sports, one championship has unveiled its first official athlete rankings for mixed martial arts, kickboxing and Muay Thai as five Team Lakai fighters made it to the top five of their respective division. This report from Jean Nicole Cortez. The world's largest martial arts organization has 550 athletes on its roster, with 140 world champions spread across many different martial arts disciplines. The official athletes' ranking will be updated in accordance with the findings of one's panel of industry experts, who will consider the participants based on criteria such as wins and losses, their most recent performances, and the quality of competition. Team Lakai's Joshua Pasho, the strawweight king, is on the top of the heap with Yosuke Saruta as the top contender, while former champion Yoshitaka Naito is second in the list as Rene Catalan, Alex Silva, and teammate Lito Adiwa rounding up the top five. Danny Keegan, meanwhile, is just one number below MMA legend Demetrius Johnson, who became the top title contender as he seeks to end Adriano Moraes' reign in the flyweight division. Bibiano Fernandez remains on top of the bantamweight class, while former division champ Kevin Bellingon remains the top title contender in the division. Gina Inyong, meanwhile, made it to the top five of the women's atomweight division, ruled by longtime champion Angela Lee. Ginical Cortez, San Sarbagio. And that's your weekly San Sarbagio news bits. For more updates, visit us at our website, our Facebook page, our official Twitter account, and our YouTube channel. Till next weekend, this is Conway Copas, reminding you to stay home and stay safe.